teaching children with anxiety. Okay. I really like doing that, and I found that art is good for that. Being a psychiatric nurse, um, I've been counseling for a lot of years. I've been counseling for 30 years, and I find that there's a lot of people out there that have a huge amount of stress. The world is going so fast that the stress is catching up to them, ends up being anxious, you have anxiety in your life. I <clears throat> have used counseling and therapy, not what really would call it therapy, but counseling with people to help them relieve uh, the re relief of that stress. Uh, we do uh, progressive relaxation and all those goody things that you hear about. But you know what? Art is wonderful. Art is wonderful for getting rid of stress. It doesn't get rid of stress, but it helps you learn how to control it. And that's what it's all about. We're all going to have stress. There's no question about it. We all have stress in our life. Don't, don't say, oh, yeah, I should have stress. That's a bunch of garbage. We're all going to have stress. But what you can do is control it. It's learn how to control it. If I <clears throat> am I'm a slow painter, I could take a big piece like this, a big piece of canvas, and I can get maybe two or three colors of, of paint, and I can just play. I can just play with it and move it around. And what I'm doing is taking the attention off of my stress. I'm putting attention onto something that I need to focus on. That focus helps you. Helps you to calm yourself down, to focus on what you're doing. We used to say that, like I used to have a sailboat, and anybody that's nervous, and, and, and scared and getting seasick, you know what you do? You put them at the helm. And it forces you to focus, it forces you to look at things and, and to keep your mind on what you're doing. And that's what art does. Keeps your mind on the art, keeps your mind on what you're doing. You can get a piece of canvas, you know. You can go to Restore, you can go to some of the thrift shops and you can get uh, a painting. <clears throat> and if it's acrylic painting, you just go get some of your old paints that you have left or over in your house. Wall paint. Take a take a some of your wall paint. Cover it all over. Cover that painting. Might take two or three coats. That's okay. Paint it. It's only canvas. Canvas is not is made of cotton and, and canvas. It's not paper. It won't hurt. Paint it over. Cheap. Nothing. Get some get some uh, dollar store um, paints and just uh, paint it. And if you don't like it, paint it over again. With your with your house paint start over i mean i have to say this painting probably has six layers on it i have painted over it so many times and and finally did a this is called a pour a dutch pour and you can see it on youtube and uh, it's awesome you just take a whole bunch of paints and you put it in a little glass and you turn it upside down and you let it do its own thing and you don't do anything to it i i didn't touch this with a brush nothing it just it just happened and it happens to look like a little bear like a nice little bear on this side some people see a bear, some people don't. Anyway, use art as an anti-stress technique. If you need some help with that, give me a call. I'd love to help you with that. I really would, because that's what that's the heart of it. Just to help people, it's a great, great therapy. It really is. It's wonderful. That's not expensive. I want to thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something from it. And I hope you've got to know me a little bit better. And you can uh, reach me at uh, dsveline, uh, V-E-L-I-N, at hotmail.com. I have a website, doreenveline.ca. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just get in touch with me anytime. And I'd love to answer any of your questions that you have.